Hey YouTube, what is up? My name is Samim Supreme and today we're gonna talk about the Bruin vs M13. Now this was the most voted comment for my last video where I compared the Growl to the Bruin and since you asked, I delivered. This is gonna be a full detailed analysis, so hopefully it answers all of your questions, but if it doesn't, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to accommodate. Alright, let's get to it. This is the most common M13 build in Warzone and we're gonna use that today. It's optimized primarily for range, aim down sight speed and recoil control. So let's briefly go over it. Monolithic Suppressor extends your effective damage range by roughly 10% and hides your position on the minimap when you fire your weapon. Commando Foregrip Underbarrel minimizes your side to side recoil so your only concern is to counteract the vertical kick. 60 round mag size is definitely Warzone standard, especially in trios and quads. Tempest Marksman Barrel increases effective damage range by an additional 30%. It also increases the bullet velocity and enhances your recoil control. Last but not least, and this is definitely optional, GI Mini Reflex Optic for a more aesthetic aim down sight look with very minimal sacrifice to the aim down sight speed. Next we got the Bruin MK9 and the attachments are nearly identical. Only differences are the Solo Zero Optic instead of the GI, which is basically the same thing. Tack laser instead of the commando foregrip for increased aim down sight speed, and the XRK summit barrel that gives 25% extra range boost, which is the longest range boost you could get on the Bruin. At first glance, we see that the Bruin seems to have slightly higher damage and range, but lower fire rate and recoil control. Bruin is sitting at 750 revs per minute, whereas the M13 at 900. Now, I did some research and some people have got 923 RPM for the M13 but unfortunately that wasn't the case when I did my testing. Perhaps it had been silently nerfed in Season 5 without anyone noticing. Nevertheless, let's take a look at the damage profile. Both of these weapons have 3 effective ranges of damage and with every consecutive one the damage drops off. The values of those ranges will be explained later in this video. Surprisingly, M13 actually outperformed the Bruin in total time to kill when it came to close and far range gunfights where all the hits were registered to the face. However, Bruin wins the fights in almost every other scenario. Another thing I want to point out is that at any range, Bruin's chest damage is always higher than the M13's. Now, we're not gonna hipfire any of these weapons in Warzone, which means we need to see which one aims downside faster. Let's take a look. The Bruin is sitting at 450 milliseconds while the M13 is at 330. The difference of 120 milliseconds allows the M13 to fire the first two bullets before the Bruin completes its aim down sight animation. If aim down sight test was included in the damage per second or total time to kill calculations, then theoretically M13 would have a significant advantage at close range battles. Next we got the recoil pattern test. As we see here, Bruin shoots so slightly to the right at first, it almost looks like a straight line up actually, but then it changes direction slightly to the left. The entire animation seems to be very fluid and follows a very predictable pattern. Now, the M13 seems to be the complete opposite. It jumps up somewhat drastically at first, but then follows a very smooth pattern to the right at a 45 degree angle. I personally prefer the recoil patterns that don't jump and are fairly predictable in its direction, so I think Bruin wins this one. However, this is just my opinion and should not be considered as factual data. Now, let's take a look at reload speeds. As you know, there are two reload animations. The first one is when you have at least one bullet left in your magazine and it looks like this. I was actually very surprised when I discovered that the Bruin is faster than the M13 by 60 milliseconds. While it isn't much, it still gives the Bruin an opportunity to fire before the M13 has a chance to. The second reload animation is the one where you are fully out of bullets and is generally longer. We get a difference of 880 milliseconds, which is equivalent to 14 bullets from the M13 being fired before the Bruin has a chance. Now, 14 bullets from an M13 at any distance in Warzone to any part of the body is enough to kill a fully plated enemy. This is just crazy. M13 definitely wins this round. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate your time. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this with a friend. This kind of support really means a lot to me and it helps this channel to grow. Also, if you were ever curious about any two weapons and wanted to see their comparison in Warzone, comment down below and if it gets the most likes, I will definitely do a video on it.
Alright, let's get back to the last test. Let's take a look at effective ranges of damage. Without any attachments at all, we have Bruins close range sitting at 41 meters, mid range from 42 to 56, and anything past that will be considered at long range. The M13 has its close range at 29 meters, mid range 30 to 32, and long range anything after that. That mid range sounds a bit funny. It feels like somebody missed a digit when they were coding. Either way, when we apply the range boost from the attachments, which are 40% for the M13 and 35% for the Bruin, we end up with 40.6 meters for the M13 as close range and just under 45 meters for mid range, whereas the Bruin skyrockets up to 55 meters for close range and 75 and a half for mid range. This basically means that if an M13 is fighting the Bruin anywhere from 40.6 to 75 and a half meter range, M13 will be at a huge disadvantage because the Bruin will still be fighting in its close and mid-range damage values while M13 is at mid and long range values. In conclusion, while M13 is definitely not cut out for the long range battles against the Bruin, I still think the M13 is a great option to choose while playing solos or duos. The dynamic of those modes, and that's just personally my opinion, is a lot more based on the camp slash reaction time slash aim down sight and shoot type of plays and with the Bruin's slow aim down side speed, it will be much harder to come out on top. However, Bruin is definitely still a better option overall, and it might stay that way until our mid-season 5 weapon rebalance patch. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later!